Now, why is it that whenever I hit record for these blogs, there's a plane overhead? Only when I hit record, no other time. <laughs> Today's no exception. All right, so here we are at the back of the property, and this is the closest house to our property right here. That's my neighbor, Dick, on this side, Dick Taylor. And this be the biggest tree on my property. Look at this beauty. Did I say my? You know what I mean. Our property. I don't live here alone. Once I said that, I was yapping away, and Nancy was right beside me. And I said, yeah, my kids are, and she was like, eh, excuse me, those are our kids. I was like, oh, right, right. So, our property, biggest tree on our property. So we've been talking about the group session and different things to weigh out. And we've covered all kinds of little miscellaneous points. So as you can see, there's, um, there's so many decisions to make that can make or break uh, success every time you run a group session. And after all these years, I still really, really, really enjoy the challenge of the group session and getting clients, um, you know, doing the off-leash and uh, the heavy distraction, the hand signals, distance commands after 12 short sessions. Now, you're not going to have every single client doing wonderfully in your group session. Let's say you have 15 clients in your group. You might have, you know, I'm just throwing this out there. There's just random numbers, but on average, I'd say you're going to have three or four real hot doggers that are just cleaning up. You're going to have a, a, the majority of the group doing uh, middle of the road. And you're usually going to have um, one or two clients that are struggling. And sometimes you'll have five clients that are struggling. And one thing that's always been amazing to me is at the end of the program, the clients whose dogs really aren't the shining stars at the end of the program, for some reason, they're often the most happy and, and most appreciative. I've never been able to figure that out. But um, you need to get feedback after every group session. You need to have clients fill out um, a, a very comprehensive uh, feedback form and ask them the, the point blank questions. You know, were you satisfied with the res results? What can we do to improve? Um, what did you think of the training venue? Did we fulfill all our uh, promises and commitments to you? And only then will you find out um, what, where you need to improve. And of course, offer the clients the choice of making those feedback forms anonymous. All right, that is it for today's topic. Over and out.